When John Lennon met Yoko Ono in 1966, he fell head over heels in love. He dropped his first wife, Cynthia, like a hot potato. He married Yoko. He gave his ex only a stipend as a divorce settlement. Although he knew Cynthia was going to have to support and raise their son, Julian, who was then just five years old. After a few years, Cynthia was broke. She knew she would have to get some money together for survival. She made a necessary decision. She would sell the love letters and drawings John had given her when they were a young couple, in love, in their teens. You can imagine how much it must have hurt Cynthia to have to part with these priceless keepsakes. Cynthia sold them for a large amount. The buyer was Paul McCartney. He paid a small fortune for the mementos. A few days later, Cynthia received all the letters and drawings in the mail, now all neatly framed. They came with a note. The note read, Never sell your memories. Love, Paul McCartney. Cynthia had kept mementos of Lennon for years but began auctioning them off after his death. This included a personally drawn Christmas card from Lennon to her, which fetched £8,800 at Christie's in August the 1981. With Cynthia's finances in an unsteady state, she would say in 1999 that, apart from John, the men I have fallen in love with have never been good at earning a living. More of her memorabilia of Lennon went up for auction in 1991, including antiques from Kenwood. Cynthia said at the time, I've enjoyed these things for 30 years, but it's time for a change. Another set of items, including some of Lennon's drug paraphernalia, brought over $60,000 for her in 1995. Cynthia later said, I think in life we collect so much baggage, when you have a clear out, you send it to a car boot sale, etc. My baggage was in demand and sold at Christie's. When you have to pay the bills, you're not proud and you can't take it with you.